Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I will introduce you how to use digital input and output instructions with Facilino and particularly we are going to focus on exercises for blinking LEDs. So this is the outline of the presentation. I will first introduce the material that we use for these uh, presentations, the word instructions and then we will move on to the exercises. In particular we have three exercises for blinking LEDs. So the material, as usual, we use the Wemos D1 R32 together with, with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. And particularly in this presentation we will use the push buttons and the LEDs potentiometer. Okay. So uh, here we have the instructions that we will work in this presentation. We have some instructions for analog digital uh, reading. Uh, we saw these instructions on the previous uh, uh, presentations and uh, these instructions they allow us to uh, read the value for the potentiometer but we also have instructions for reading uh, the value of, an analog, uh, of a digital pin or for setting or writing the value for a digital pin and we can set it to high or low depending on, on the instruction provided and we can indicate uh, the number of pin with uh, the instruction that you see here uh, and also if it's a, speci a special type of pin, we can provide it uh, with the, the last instruction with the PWM uh, instruction. Additionally, in this presentation, we will see other instructions that uh, we haven't worked uh, yet, like an if instruction, a wait instruction, and then we have uh, a comparison instruction, the mapping instruction, and the minimum min instruction. We will, uh, we will describe them as, as we see them in the examples. So in this presentation, uh, what we have is just simply the very uh, basic um, example in which the LEDs they are switching at a frequency of 1000 milliseconds. So what we're doing is to set in the high value and the low value. So here, as you can see, we're using the right instruction, we're using indicating the digital pin, and we're uh, indicating the, the, the actual state that we want. Then in this, present, in, in the, sorry, in this exercise what we have is uh, the LEDs, they are connected to uh, D12 and D13 and uh, what we have is we are reading the value of the analog uh, 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 input, the potentiometer, and we are mapping this value and we are waiting an amount of time depending on the red value. So if the value should be between the value should be between 0 and 4095. So we're mapping this into uh, in milliseconds into 100 milliseconds and 1000 milliseconds and we are just simply changing the frequency depending on the value of the potentiometer. Then finally in this example what we're doing is we are increasing the frequency of, uh, of the LEDs, they are blinking, so this frequency depends on how many times we push uh, the button which is connected to uh, D2. So here in particular uh, what we're seeing is that we are just simply doing the, uh, a variable, we are creating a variable which is the blink time, it starts with 500 milliseconds and then what we're doing is waiting that time, but this is a variable so we can change it and particularly what we're doing is whenever we push the button then we read low and then what we will do is to decrease the value of the blinking time. So we decrease this each time by 50 milliseconds and we just simply leave uh, a minimum time of 50 milliseconds so that's why we're using the max instruction here so we always take the maximum between the, the subtraction and the, 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 the constant number 50 and then we set the value and then we repeat the procedure again. Okay, so in this uh, presentation I have introduced you how to use uh, instructions for digital input and output with Facilino, particularly uh, some examples for blinking LEDs. Thank you very much and I hope to see you on my next presentation.